Let's go. We gotta hunt some Pokemon cards. You ready, brother? Let's go. Come on. What's going on, everybody? JJ here, and we are headed to multiple stores. We're actually gonna do a little, uh... What's the word I'm trying to think of? We're gonna do a little, uh... Experiment. That's the word. Experiment. I'm looking for... We're gonna go to Dollar Tree, and we're gonna buy, um like 13, 14, 15 bucks worth of uh, the dollar Pokemon cards. And then we're gonna go to like Walmart or like, you know, your normal store and we're gonna buy the equivalent amount of money slash cards. So there's three cards that come in one of those dollar packs. So we would need to buy like four of those to get close to the 10 that come in a normal one. So, you know, I'm thinking if I buy three 10 packs, that's 30 cards, I'd have to buy 10 three packs so we're gonna do that and we're gonna compare what we get out of each so we're gonna see is it really worth getting dollar tree pokemon cards i hope that made sense i tried my hardest to explain that but yeah let's go there right now and see what we can find all right guys i accidentally left my camera in the car so i couldn't show you what i was picking out but let's show you so i got the three booster packs of sword and shield so this was $13 and there's obviously uh, 31 cards in here technically um, now I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and I'm gonna buy $13 packs and I'm gonna compare the two to see if Dollar Tree cards are worth it and I also bought a surprise pokeball for the end not a surprise anymore but it'll be a surprise when we open it the Dollar Tree Alrighty, I'm back to my trustworthy Dollar Tree that always has Pokemon cards. And we got our 13 packs of Sword and Shield, so now let's get back home, open them up, and compare them. Alright guys, we are back home now and we are going to start opening up the packs. I got them all separated here. These are the 13 Dollar Tree packs. And then this is the $13 pack with the three packs and the promo card up front. And then this is for the end. It'll be a nice little bonus for the video. So let's jump straight into these first. Now I got the sword and shield for both of them just because I figured it'd be a better comparison for the video. Krabby, Grookey, and a Hyper Potion. Nice. So technically, what's the math here? 13, 26. If I can open this. How many cards did I get? I think I got 42 cards, is that right? Did I do math right? Just because the, there's three packs and I got 13 in each pack, so... And then the other ones, there's 10 in each pack and there's only three, so I got 30 cards from those. So I got more from the Dollar Tree packs, but... Is it worth it? Are they better? Choodle, Blipug, and Mantine. Alrighty, next pack. These packs are extremely hard to open sometimes because there's like no cards in here. So there's nothing to hold on to, really. It's just like opening an empty foil. Krabby. Some of these packs, I'm like, did I just get that pack? Did I just open that? This would be a fun comparison. Ball toy, energy. So far, nothing. I mean, I have gotten a couple rares in there. I. That, that's not the way I do these videos. If there is a rare, it's got to be a shiny rare for me to sleeve. If it's just a normal rare, I'm not too worried about it. Goodness. A couple of team yells. See, this one was a uh, rare. I'm just not really... Uh, separating them. I'm only looking for a shiny. I think I'll go through the entire stack afterwards to show you how many rares I got out of all these. Just none of them are hollow. Not yet. There's got to be at least one. I got 13 packs. Ooh, here we go. A reverse hollow, but it's a common. Crabby and a rare first hollow rapidash, which is a rare. So we'll keep that one to the side for now at least. A 
Nice little grookey. That was my starter choice. Poke Kid. Pokey Kid. Yeah. Hit one Lee. Alright, we got two more packs of these, and then we're gonna hop into the next ten packs of the Sword and Shield. Or the ten card packs, whatever you whatever. Rickety, ooh, here we go. We got a switch, uncommon, reverse hollow, and then an energy. Alright, last pack. Hopefully we got something in here. Let's see. Choodle. Rhyhorn, nothing. So we got the one reverse hollow. Actually, wait a second. There was a couple reverse hollows, but the one was a rare. And if we go through here very quickly. There's another one. There's gotta be at least one more, come on. I feel like there's at least one more in here. One more rare. Got a good amount of cards here. Okay, I was wrong. Alrighty. So we have the three here, the three rares. Let's go through them really quick. Check out the art on them too. And then the reverse hollow rapidash. So, hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have better luck with the uh, with the three packs here. So let's start out with this one. Nice looking ponyta. It's just a promo card. It's for you guys. Let's get right into it. So actually, hold on. I'm supposed to sleeve this because it is a rare, and I sleeve my shiny rares no matter what kind of shiny. So there it is, nice and sleeved. Alrighty, now we're getting into the packs, the booster packs, the good booster packs. I like the dollar ones, but these ones have, you know, better stuff in them. So let's go ahead and give that away real quick. Man, this camera does not like to focus for me. Alright. Energy, Metal Saucer, Quick Paw, Martin Cotney, Score Bunny, See the Cobra, Yamper, one of my favorites, Grookey, Reverse Hollow Hoot Hoot, and a Cloister Rare. Set that down there. This is just a common, so we'll just set this to the side. And then we'll get into the next one. Alright, so white code. There's the code card, and it's going to be a good one. Every time it's a white code, it's usually a guaranteed, uh, hollow rare. Heat more, bolt away, crabby, ponyta, reverse hollow choodle, and a obstagoon hollow. So we'll sleeve that one up really quick too. I only got a couple more sleeves, and then I have to break into the normal clear ones. Oh, no, uh, only a couple more of these left, I should say. All right, last pack before we get into the Pokeball for the surprise. All right, normal green code. There's that one for you. Put that in front. All right, we got an Energy, Ordinary Rod, Yamper, Grookey, Baltoy, Reverse Hollow Dryza. Oh, and just a good old fashioned lantern. Set that down there. And that was the good old sauce. So, what did we get here? We got two rares. And then one rare from here. So, hmm. Pretty, uh, actually, pretty equivalent, in my opinion compared to the uh, Dollar Tree packs for the price that I spent and the cards that I got. I'd say it's pretty equivalent. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. But we're going to get into the good stuff. Hopefully this is good stuff. Jeez. Alright, now that I got it open. Nice little chip. And we got a breakpoint. Lost Thunder and Burning Shadows. See what we got out of these, eh? White code. Oh, I don't know if this one's three or four. Oh, it was it was three, but here we go. A Togekiss EX. 
nice for the start. I, I kind of screwed it up for the video, but I mean, it was cool. It was a cool flip for sure. Set that down. Just go through them really quickly. Slow bro, Stantler. I like the buzz. And then your reverse hollow trainer. So pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's put this in the sleeve. I only have one more Pikachu sleeve left. And we got two more packs left, so. Let's see what was worth it. Another white code. Whoa, that one's stuck to it. There you go. I don't I'm not sure what packs are which. Okay. Bodybuilding dumbbells. Uh oh, we got something nice back here. Ooh, secret rare rescue stretcher gold card. This is the first ever gold I've ever pulled on camera and uh, <laughs> it's a good one. And like I said, only had one more sleeve left with the Pikachu and what better card to fit it with. That's a beautiful looking card. Good old fashioned secret rare. And we still have one more card to go. One more pack, sorry. This one is the Lost Thunder. Like I said, these packs are way easier to open than the other ones. All right, here's the code for you. I'm not sure if this one's three or four. I think it's four. EV. There's something good back there. This is a reverse hollow scyther and a wow, cyglyph. This oh, cyglyph GX. Sorry. This is a really, really cool looking card. Let's check the back out. Pretty center too. That's a good looking card. Now I have to open up the new sleeves for this one. Which is completely fine with me. Because as long as it's sleeved, that's all I care about. Beautiful. Add that one to the collection. Alright, so I just went through all of those. Honestly, I spent about the same. 13 bucks on the Pokeball, 13 bucks on the three packs, and then 13 bucks on the 13 packs. And I had better results, in my opinion, with the Pokeball. So, <laughs> uh, even though it was more so, is it worth buying Dollar Tree packs? Yeah, it's worth it. It's not not worth it, but seems to uh, in this video I had better luck with the pokeballs so <laughs> yeah uh, I'm pretty happy with the polls if you guys are too go ahead and click like uh, tell me what your favorite poll was for my polls I'm gonna have to say it was my secret rare gold card that was a beautiful poll but yeah thank you guys for watching so much I appreciate it if you guys like the video please click like and subscribe for more I'll see you in the next one